Winter is coming. And with it comes SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, AKA Seasonal Depression, AKA the Wintertime Blues. Hey Rebels, Coach Jim here. On this channel, we've helped you level up your strength and nutrition. Today we'll talk about SAD, what it is, and six things that you can do to help pick up your mood when the seasons change. But if you're going through a really difficult time, understand that these tips might not be enough. I'm gonna sound like a broken record for the next five minutes, but please don't hesitate to reach out for professional support if needed. I've included some helpful links in the description below. What SAD is. All right, first thing to talk about, what SAD is. Aside from being a clever acronym, SAD is a mood disorder that, no surprise, has a seasonal pattern. Now, most of us are gonna feel a little down in the fall and winter. Cold, dark days make it hard to go outside and do our favorite things. SAD is a bit different though, and that people with otherwise well-adjusted mental health can experience prolonged depressive symptoms as the seasons change and the daylight decreases. Common symptoms include a low mood for most of the day, loss of interest in your usual activities, drowsiness and lethargy, irritability and severe mood swings, irregular sleep patterns, either too much or too little sleep, eating more than usual, especially with cravings for sugar and carbohydrates, and intrusive or disturbing thoughts. It's of particular concern if any of these symptoms last longer than two weeks. Does any of this sound familiar? Comment sad below. It's also no surprise that seasonal affective disorder is more prevalent in cooler, darker climates. While only 1% of Floridians experience sad, up to 9% of those in Alaska and New England suffer from it. And in Oslo, Norway, it's a whopping 14% of the population. Now, seasonal affective disorder is not just a fancy word for feeling bummed out. It's just as serious as any other depression and needs to be handled effectively. So while we've just gone through a quick list of things to look out for, again, don't hesitate to reach out to a professional to talk through things further. Perhaps we're only feeling a bit down though. What are some things that we can do to help pick up our mood this time of year? Number one, get some light. Light helps the body produce serotonin, which in turn positively affects your mood. We know it's not the easiest to get natural light during colder months, but look to get outside for a nice walk, even on days when it's cloudy and cold. The Norwegians have a saying, there is no bad weather, only bad clothing. So be sure you're well prepped for any outdoor activity. Lifting the shades and making your work and home environment as light and airy as possible can also help too. If you feel like you're simply not able to get enough natural light, then light therapy is a popular method to counteract SAD. This is sitting close to specialized bright lights for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Be forewarned though that this is not appropriate for everyone, especially those with bipolar disorder. So please talk to a professional if this is a route that you want to explore. Number two, exercise and nutrition. Surprise, surprise, our old friends come to our side once again. Numerous studies have shown the benefits of exercise for helping both sad and general depression. We've already talked about getting outside for a good walk, but if you're looking for some more fun and apropos exercises, check out our winter is coming workout in the links below. As for nutrition, while there is no well-established link between healthy nutritional practices and a reduction in SAD symptoms, studies have shown links between healthy eating, like the Mediterranean diet, and a reduction in overall depression. So anything we can do to eat healthy this time of year can certainly help. Number three, vitamin D. During the winter months, when your exposure to sunlight is low, your body makes much less vitamin D, or even stops completely. Vitamin D has been shown to help regulate mood and ward off depression. And further studies show that those with SAD often have vitamin D deficiencies. So a supplementation before the winter months may actually help a lot. Now, recommendations differ from the amount needed or if you even need it. So further blood work and a talk with your doctor is a good choice here. Number four, meditate. Meditation has been shown to help alleviate symptoms of depression as well. Now you don't have to go burn all your worldly possessions and go live in a mountain somewhere. There are plenty of free YouTube videos that you can watch. Or check out our app, Nerd Fitness Journey, which has a meditation adventure to help you build up the habit. Free to try, link below. Number five, embrace the season. Going back to foreign sayings, there's a Danish concept of huga, which while there's no direct English translation, it essentially means comfort and coziness. Things like wrapping yourself up in a blanket, enjoying a good book, or sitting by a warm fire. So instead of lamenting the change of seasons, embrace these other experiences that we get to enjoy. So what way are you embracing the seasons? Comment below, we'd love to hear. Number six, therapy 
and medication. Now, beyond the methods that we just talked about and to sound like a broken record again, professional therapy can be a really helpful tool for handling SAD, especially when we're feeling overwhelmed. You can connect with in-person or online resources to help. Now, I understand it can feel daunting to open up to a stranger at first, but having that outside trained perspective is invaluable to help you talk through and process any negative thoughts and feelings. Alongside this counseling, your doctor might also prescribe medication. This can also be incredibly effective for handling SAD, so don't hesitate to bring it up during your next checkup. And if you wanna read a bit more into mental health and its importance, check out our Nerd Fitness Guide to Mental Health in the links below. So above all, anticipate this change of mood every year and take care of yourself. Get outside and get some sunlight, move around regularly, and keep up with your healthy eating. Look into some vitamin D supplementation. Give meditation a go. Embrace all the things that make fall and winter awesome. And reach out to a professional for further guidance and possible medication, especially if you're having a tough time. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in fighting the winter blues. Check out these other videos which might also help. The top five nutritional tips that work for our clients and how to get back in shape and not hate it. Stay strong, stay nerdy.